I'm here in the Mount Olympus neighborhood where, as you can see, the road is still closed behind me. As police are searching for the suspects who shot and killed a 20-year-old rapper. I think I have inspired the carpet in many ways tonight. I'm here on the green carpet for the premiere of Amazon's new show, Hunters. Coming up, I'll chat with the cast. When flames tore through this building one year ago, the employees and owners were left without a job and didn't know where to turn. But now, with the help of the community, the lights are finally back on. An intense search is underway right here at the Westfield Century City Shopping Mall. A man was shot and killed last night. Detectives still here on the scene. The doors to the Borderline Bar and Grill have been closed since the mass shooting that killed 12 people one year ago today. But almost every day, you'll find people here paying tribute to the victims. I'm Emma Schiff, live in the Hollywood Hills, where a celebrity therapist was found dead over the weekend. Police suspect her ex-boyfriend killed her. That story coming up. Over a year after the Woolsey fire completely destroyed this mobile home park, construction is finally underway. But for many residents, it's too little too late. The insurance money is running out and they still don't know when they'll be able to move back in. Initially, they thought it would be about a year or less than a year until we'd move back in. But now, over a year later, we're still not even sure when exactly we'll get to move back in. Kelly O'Dell is one of the many residents here at the Seminole Springs Mobile Home Park in Agora Hills who lost their home in the 2018 Woolsey Fire. Nearly half of the park's 215 homes were destroyed. The gas and power lines, sewer system, and storm drains all require extensive repairs estimated to cost $10 million. The park, which is owned by the residents, didn't have the money to make those repairs until now, but many residents can't wait any longer to move back in. Most everyone has already run out of insurance money, so their only decision really is to sell. So that's what a lot of residents have done. Kelly and her mother Tammy were originally told it would be a year or less until they would be able to rebuild and move in. Now, 14 months later, construction has finally begun, but they still don't know exactly when they'll be able to return. The time frame is definitely gotten a lot longer and it continues to grow, honestly, and people just continue to spend all their money. Seminole Springs is a tight-knit community and Kelly tells me that almost all the residents who lost their homes in the fire had originally planned on rebuilding, but with no certain date in sight, it's unclear how many people will be able to afford to come home to the Seminole Springs mobile home park. I'm here in the Mount Olympus neighborhood where, as you can see, the road is still closed behind me. As police are searching for the suspects who shot and killed a 20-year-old rapper. Baby, welcome to the party. Uh -huh. Republic Records is confirming the death of their recording artist known as Pop Smoke, saying how they're devastated by the sudden and tragic loss. Just before 5 a.m., LAPD officers responded to a home on Hercules Drive where the 20-year-old rapper was hanging out with some friends. The radio call was called in by someone from back east and stated a friend of theirs home was being broken into by multiple suspects and that one of them was armed with a handgun. When officers arrived, they discovered Pop Smoke, whose real name is Bashar Jackson, had been shot. LAFD paramedics transported him to Cedar sinai Hospital, where he was pronounced dead a short time later. Several witnesses to the shooting told police there were between two and six suspects wearing black hoodies and masks over their faces. They have not been caught or identified. Meantime, fans are stopping by to pay tribute to the artist. He inspired people. He came out from, he made something from nothing. And that's real, that's very impactful. I was a fan instantly from, you know, just relating to some of the stuff he talked about in his music. And I've like researched his story and just heard his voice, which was what he was best known for. Pop Smoke isn't just being remembered by his fans. Nicki Minaj and 50 Cent took to Instagram to remember the late rapper. In the Hollywood Hills, I'm Emma Schiff. As fears over the spread of the coronavirus grow in the United States, officials are eyeing a local naval base to serve as a quarantine site. Now this is the Ventura County Naval Base where travelers who have visited areas with a high risk of exposure to the coronavirus could be taken if that proposal passes. Of course, you can't enter the base without proper credentials, but a lot of residents from nearby areas still feel that this isn't an appropriate place to house a quarantine site. The Ventura County Public Information Office shared this message on the neighborhood app next door, stressing that people would be taken to the site based solely off of their travel history and that anyone showing signs of the virus would be taken to appropriate medical facilities, not the base. The individuals who potentially could be 
quarantined here are U.S. citizens, passengers arriving into LAX who are coming from countries that have a high prevalence of the coronavirus. Public officials are assuring locals that the site won't house any coronavirus patients and that it will pose no risk to the community. They are passengers, not patients. Officials are still referring to the base as a potential quarantine site, but have confirmed that a traveler who landed at LAX on Sunday night was transported here for quarantine. He showed no symptoms of coronavirus and was transported because he had traveled to an area in China with a high risk of exposure. He will be monitored for 14 days before being released. In Point Magoo, I'm Emma Schiff.